Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and today we're looking at the readings for the third Sunday in Ordinary Time. Have you ever gone fishing? I'm from Minnesota. Minnesota's the, the state with 16,000 lakes. Our license plates say the land of 10,000 lakes, and we've got lakes, and we've got a lot of fish and a lot of fishermen. Fishing is big in Minnesota, and if you, you say to someone who's visiting, would you like to go to fishing, go fishing with me today, they'll say, well, sure. And then you say, well, go fishing. It's not that easy, is it? If you want to be a fisherman, you've got to have equipment, you've got to have a certain skill level, and you, know, you have to know how to go about fishing. In this week's readings, Jesus is going to call you and he's going to call me to be fishermen. But we're not going to be fishing for fish, we're going to be fishing for men. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 16, Jesus is passing along by the Sea of Galilee, and he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net in the sea, for they were fishermen. This is what they did for a living. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. So what Jesus is proposing is that they take the skill that they have become accustomed to, they're, they're skilled at fishing for fish, and he's saying, now you're going to be fishing, but you're going to be going after men if you're going to be a part of my team. If you're going to be my disciple, you're going to be a fisher of men. And that's what I want to talk to you about this week. If you're a Christian, you are an active fisherman. You are constantly looking for that catch, not for yourself, but for Jesus, to bring people into his kingdom and to bring people into a right relationship with God. I got to thinking about the readings this week and about fishing, and I, I was aware, because I do fish, that it's not something that you just intuitively do. You have to learn it. Now, if you are a fisherman of fish, you would have to learn all about uh, the preparation for fishing, about the nets and the boats and the hooks and the bait and, and everything else. You'd have to become familiar with that. You'd also have to become familiar with the skill of a fisherman. When do they fish? Where on the lake? How deep? And so forth. These are important when it comes to be, being a fisher of fish. Okay? But when it comes to becoming a fisher of men, we need the same type of skill and we need the same type of preparation. So if you're going to follow Jesus and you're going to be a fisher of men, you have to prepare yourself. And there's two things that I want to share with you about preparing yourself. One is that we need to prepare ourselves by knowing the message. And we do that by reading the Bible and I highly recommend Lexio Divina on a daily basis, listening to God, coming to know his voice. Uh, and, and also the Sunday readings, we come to know his voice and we prepare ourselves by knowing his will and the way he goes about fishing for men. I would also recommend the catechism to become a regular student, a regular reader of the catechism, which is really uh, a, a, a treasury of the church's teaching. Now, knowing the message is important if we're going to be fishers of men, but we also must know men and women. We have to understand the nature of people. What are they going through? What are the problems that they are facing? What are the big issues in society today? What do women go through? What do men go through? Single moms, teenagers, college students. A certain preparedness in this area is very, very important. But we also must have skill. As I go out with people on the lake and they fish, it's amazing the skillful fishermen will say, go over here on this bay at this time of the day, go down this deep or over by the dock. They seem to have a lot of skill in catching fish. And I think that when it comes to catching men and women for God, we need to have that type of skill. We need to know when to speak how to speak. We have to have uh, love and gentleness and kindness when we approach people. We have to be wise and we have to be shrewd. And this comes by walking with the Lord and watching what he does. And it also comes by finding a mentor who can show you how to do this. Now, one of the things that we lack so often when we uh, engage in winning souls for Christ is patience and tenacity. When you go out on a lake with someone, oftentimes they'll sit out there for three, four, five hours without catching anything. But they keep casting, they keep trolling, they keep waiting, they are patient. And sooner or later, they get that big fish. If there are people in your life that you would like to win to the Lord, I encourage you to be 
faithful, to be patient, and to walk in tenacity. Because when you do that, you give people enough room, enough room to get caught. And that's really, really important when it comes to winning souls. So preparation, skill, and tenacity. And remember what Paul said in this week's readings in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. He makes a big point out of not being attached to this world. If you're going to be a fisher of men, one of the enemies to that is being attached to the things of this world, being preoccupied with the, the, the shiny silver things and the toys and the entertainment of this age. Remember this week that you are a fisher of men. Prepare yourself and sharpen that skill set and be patient.